Well, hi. Uh, this is Shadi and Wade. Um, this is my first time of recording anything, but I wanted to talk to people about my disorder. Uh, I'm bipolar, um, and I suffer from bouts of anxiety, depression, anger, a lot of different things, and I'm on a couple different medications right now for that. I have run out of two of those, and I'm supposed to have refills in the mail, and um, ended up getting sent back because I moved, and I changed the address um, with my pharmacy. But here I am uh, without medication. So this is going to be really interesting to see how things come along in the next couple of days because I have not gone without this much medication in a very long time. Uh, I started the medication about a year ago. Uh, it was Geodon and it has been up several times since I started. Uh, I went from taking like 40 milligrams all the way up to 80 milligrams and uh, now I'm sitting at right at 80 milligrams a day to take at night so I can sleep uh, because my anxiety and stress levels uh, from it, my disorder make it to where I don't sleep and if you know anything about sleep it is the body's way of repair uh, going through the motions of things that have gone on in your day uh, mentally to just kind of cope with problems and so my body doesn't do that naturally on its own anymore um, it just stays in a really manic state where I'm just really hyped up and I don't feel like I can sleep. I'm really restless when I lay down and um, so I won't sleep for days at a time and that is really bad. You start having hallucinations, um, you start acting really outside of yourself and it's just really bad news. So I thought I would talk to people on the internet <laughs> and, and share my experiences uh, that I'm going to be going through rather than uh, keep my experiences to myself um, because I think it's very informative uh, for people who don't understand the disorder and don't understand what people go through. Um, another another uh, medication that I'm taking is Celexa, and uh, that I take during the day, and that kind of keeps me mellow and at a level plane uh, throughout the day. And then um, when I do suffer from bouts of anxiety during the day, I'm supposed to take Klonopin. That's the other medication I ran out of. So I don't have Geodon and I don't have Klonopin. <laughs> and we're going to see how bad my anxiety gets. Um, I usually suffer from paranoia uh, during uh, an anxiety attack. I, I feel as though the world is kind of out to get me. And um, yeah, it's not a good feeling, but there you go. Uh, but I take all those medications for my disorder. Um, other medications I take, I take a multivitamin and um, I take uh, Zyrtec uh, for allergies. I live in Knoxville, uh, which is like the bowl of pollen and allergen central. Uh, if you have asthma, please do not move here. Uh, if you suffer from any major allergies, it might cause asthma. 
so uh, just stay up clear. Uh, it is a big bowl uh, that sits between mountains, and once it comes in, it just settles in and lives here. So if you have any major allergies, do not, I repeat, do not move to Knoxville. It is a bad place. Uh, I moved here uh, in 2010. Uh, with my fiance at the time, uh, and our little boy, and got married just recently. Um, we got married in May of this year, which is 2012, and we've been together for five years. So, you know. <laughs> pretty complicated. Uh, we were both in the United States Marine Corps. Um, I loved my experiences as a Marine. Um, I got to meet and be around some really interesting people. And if it wasn't for those people, I would probably have been worse off than I am today. Uh, so if any of them were watching, thank you. Uh, thank you for supporting me and helping me to get the help I needed. Uh, but uh, what I really want to talk about <clears throat> is it's like 7.30 in the morning. And I have been up since 5.30 and I finally decided, okay, forget this. I'm going to, to film uh, my day. Uh, or at least my morning. Uh, I get up every morning and make a fresh pot of coffee for my husband because he's a big coffee drinker. He's he always has to have coffee. But I wanted to talk to you about um, the things that I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I get up, I take my medication, uh, I make my husband a pot of coffee, you know, I'll brush my teeth, comb my hair, whatever, you know, just regular morning stuff. Um, but I have to make sure that I take my medication. And so I have alarms for that. And uh, I have alarms to remind me to take my medication because I have a tendency to get wrapped up into something and forget to take it. Um, so I have alarms that go off during the day and during the night. And it's just people don't understand it, and, like, they, they don't understand, and it's like, why do you need an alarm, it's like, can't you remember, and it's like, no, I actually will get so enveloped in things that I forget, and, uh, on my wedding day, uh, things got so busy so fast that I forgot to take my medication, and I exploded at my own wedding, at, at the end of it, I, I was completely just distraught and unhappy, and it, it was my wedding day, and I should have been happy, and I should have been really excited. Instead, it, it turned out that I cried, <laughs> like, profusely, and was so upset, and um, nobody can understand what goes through a mind of a person, but um, at that time... I was so focused on making other people happy, uh, particularly my mother, who doesn't believe in my mental disorder, that um, it just, it, it became a mess. Uh, everything could have just fell apart. And uh, my husband uh, took me home, and I took my medication and I felt better um, having that security of knowing that I've taken it makes <gasps> excuse me it, it makes things a lot better because then I know that you know if something's going on with me at least I know that I've taken my medication and it can't get any worse um, like, 
And I don't know how to explain it other than that. Uh, your medicine becomes like a safety net for you and, and you hope that that safety net catches you when you fall. And if you don't have that safety net, then you just fall. You just get hurt. And you know, you're, you're like reaching up and grabbing at people and trying to scramble your way up and you end up hurting other people. So, uh, I just try to take my medicine and, and be as whatever the semblance of normal I can be is. <clears throat> but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you about this morning was how things are going to be going and progressing along and uh, what it's like to be me, um, Shadia Wade. <laughs> uh, it's very complicated and very tired. Uh, I have slept, but not very much. And... I don't feel rested, I feel exhausted, even after uh, sleeping for a certain period of time, I still feel really exhausted, so we'll see how everything progresses in the next couple of days. Talk to you later. Bye.